welcome to another Kiwi Adventure. Right, the other night um, I was on a live stream. It was Digging for Life, his live stream. And for quite a while it was just Digging for Life, Metal Detecting Melbourne, or MD Melbourne, and myself. And we were just chin wagging away to the wee small hours and we had heaps of fun. It was great. And um, yeah, thanks guys. That was awesome. Awesome stream. Now, um, while we were ch chatting away, um, we got onto military buttons and badges and items and they both suggested I should do a video of my collection since I had a few. Um, so here it is. This is my collection. Um, as you can see, I've been lucky enough to find a few, a few medals um, and quite a few buttons. Um, oh, I've found other ones that are smashed up and munted, so they sort of go in the in the castaway bin. But yeah, here it is. So yeah, got a few items here that I'll just um, I'll give you a bit of background on or a bit of a bit of a closer look. The first one being this cool wee one here. Um, and this clearly has been shot <laughs> by, an, by a bullet. So I don't know whether that's happened in battle or whether it's happened when the poor chap come home, but that's, whoop. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, that's definitely, yeah, definitely a bullet damage there. You can see that quite clearly in that, that picture. So that's real cool, that makes the old mind boggle. Um, these two here, this one and this one, uh, I found those on the same hunt in the same park, probably within about 10 minutes of each other, so that was really cool, um, that was an awesome find. Um, this one here is the holder of the New Zealand slouch hat, it was, it would have had a big, um, that tongue there would have created a bit of a hook and um, yeah so that's a that's a pretty cool find so that would have gone on their hats um this one here this one's awesome um this has been an absolute star find for me this is this is an amazing find this is a campaign medal from world war ii now this um this medal is the italian German campaign medal from the Africa War. So while Rommel was in Africa um, fighting the British, uh, this medal was made in 1944 by the Italians for the Germans when they were fighting together in the Africa War against the British. Um, so yes, yeah, so the Italians made this medal. They issued it to the Germans. So this is an Italian chap and a German chap wrestling a crocodile. Now apparently that crocodile is, uh, represents the British rule. So yeah, so Italy handed these out. The Germans wore them. But when Italy surrendered, uh, Germany denounced everything to do with Italy and they recalled every single one of these medals and destroyed them. They melted them back down and put them back into um, ammunition and guns and all that sort of stuff. So they were all melted down. So they were all recalled. No one was to hold on to them. So for this to end up all the way over here in New Zealand, um, the mind boggles. It just, yeah, there's some real history behind it. Um, the only explanation we can really come up with is that a... Kiwi soldier, a New Zealand soldier, uh, took this off another dead German soldier as a war souvenir and brought it back home to New Zealand and obviously subsequently lost it. So, But that's an amazing find. Um, so much history. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. And these were made, there was two, two lots made. The first lot in 1944, early 44, were made in bronze. There was another lot came out later in 1944 that were made out of a white metal, uh, just a, what they call war metal. Now this is actually a bronze one, which places it in the first batch that came out in early 1944. So there you go folks, a little bit of history. 
Um, these are all my buttons. Um, so there's yeah, New Zealand Forces buttons up there. And then there's artillery, air force, um, there's Royal Engineers, um, railways, and yeah, I think possibly some Navy ones down here. Uh, firemen's up there, policemen, yeah. Just quite a few cool buttons. Um, this one here would be my oldest button. Um, nothing fancy about it, but I turn it over. Ugh! Or throw it away. <laughs> I turn it over and it's a Tombac. Now, as far as I know, Tombacs go back into the 1700s. So that would possibly place this button uh, right back to, yeah, quite a bit earlier than what all these other buttons are. So I'm presuming this has probably been my oldest button. Um, so whether it's a military button, I'm not too sure. Uh, could quite easily be a, a brass button off a, a trench coat from a um, yeah early soldier in the NZ Mary Wars or something like that. But yeah, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to zoom in. I'll cue some music, and I'll just give you a bit of a quick tour. So cue the music. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys, um, please like, um, leave a comment if you enjoyed this, and um, by all means subscribe if you haven't already, 
And um, yeah, until next time, happy hunting.